Hello student, this is a, a series of uh, lectures in the principles of chemical engineering. Here we start with the material balance. Material balance is nothing more than the application of flow of conservation of mass. Matter is, this means that matter is neither created nor destroyed. Before we start here, you should uh, learn some terms about the open and the closed system in closed system there is no material input nor material out while in open uh, system there is a material crosses the system boundaries and leaving the system boundaries another important terms is uh, the steady and unsteady process any steady process that the amount of input not equal the amount of material out and will be an accumulation inside the system the accumulation may be negative that means it uh, there is a decrease with time or positive accumulation when there is an increase with time the steady state systems in this system the amount of input equal to the amount of output and there is no changing or accumulation inside the system so the material balance equation without chemical reaction you know that there is sometimes a chemical reaction this will be not taken in this video so we will take only uh, the physical material balance equation that the accumulation equal to uh, total flow into the system minus total flow out from the system this equation can be applied for uh, moles, uh, masses, kilograms, or any quantity that uh, that is conserved. For example, here you can see that the amount of water input to the system equal to amount of water out. This means that there is no accumulation. The accumulation term is zero. What goes in to the system must come out. This means in equal to out. Let's we uh, take a solve a problem here. This is problems uh, about the separation of acetone from the stream of air and water. Here the water can uh, absorb the acetone, and then the acetone can be separated here in the distillation column. You are asked here to calculate the value of A, the air flow out. F the feed to the distillation column, W water input to the absorber column, B the bottom product of distillation column, and D the distilled from the cond condenser. While the value of gas flow rate here G is known to be 1400 kilogram per hour. Here we should uh, know some uh, principles. The process is a steady because there is no changing for material with time nothing mentions about time the process is open because there is a streams crosses the system boundaries and streams leaving the system boundaries the process is a three units you can see units number one absorber column units number two distillation column and units number three is the condenser material balance can be applied for each units you can you can see here that you can make energy balance for these units or these units or these units or you can take energy balance for the whole system condenser can be combined with distillation column you can see here that the output from distillation is uh, the same here is the same to the output from the condenser there is no changing in the masses there is no mass addition or mass separation here the process here or the condensation process is only about the phase phase change or, or, or phase transition the vapor phase uh, will condense to the liquid phase without change in the mass in, in the masses so you can combine units number two with units number three 
the base is, is a very important here. You can take a basis for one hour. This means that each quantity that you will get will be per one hour. So the basis for our solution will be one hour. Uh, as well, you can take uh, the basis of uh, mass, time, any value given in the uh, problem. The process here without chemical reaction. You can see that it is a physical separation in the absorber column and in the distillation column. Number of components here are the three components, air, acetone, and water. Number of unknown is five. A, F, W, B, and D. Number of equations equal to five because you can make three equations, three material balance equations in the uh, absorber column, one for acetone, one for air, and one for uh, water. While in the uh, distillation column, you can make two material balance equations, one for acetones and one for water. Therefore, the degree of freedom equal to zero because the number of unknown equal to the number of equations. And then the problem can be easily solved. Let us talk about the system boundaries. You can uh, take the system boundaries for each unit here. As we mentioned previously, this is the distillation column can be combined with the condenser because there is no changing in the mass. The change here is in the phase. As well as you can take the overall system boundaries. Here you can make the energy balance for the overall system or to the subunits or unit system the energy that uh, sorry the material balance here will be taken for the unit number one absorber uh, absorber column uh, this is the steady state therefore in equal to out you can see that air material balance the air presence only in the g stream and a stream therefore the percentage of air by or times 1400 equal the percentage of air in the A streams. The same thing can be uh, done to the other two components, acetone and water. A three unknown, A, F, W, a three equations. Therefore, the system of equations can be solved to get the value of A, F, and W. You can check you, your answer by taking the overall material balance equation. Total, overall total in G plus W equal to the total uh, mat uh, uh, material leaving A plus F. The same thing can be doing for the another uh, unit, uh, unit number two plus three. I mean distillation column plus condenser. You see here that there is no air. Therefore, two material balance equations, one for acetone, one for water. Amount of acetone here times F equal the amount of acetone times D plus amount of acetones times B. And you can uh, check your answer from the total any uh, material balance equation. F equal to D plus uh, B. Thank you for your listening. See you in the next lecture.